hi there. And just out in the front garden, not in my normal area when I make a video. Uh, me, partly because I could show the, some of the progress of the companion planting that I did. The corn's coming along, you can see the beans are climbing the corn. And uh, the squash are finally taking off a little better. But uh, anyway, today I uh, wanted to make a video, just a short one, about something that I do with the strawberry runners that grow. You know, something that I think is really important. It's always been important, but maybe now more than ever. Uh, food security and uh, a way that you can help help other people maybe get grow some more food that, that can be good for all sorts of reasons. Maybe because the food's good and it's healthy and, uh, and all that. But uh, also it's good for our own mental health. It's a fun hobby, I think. And uh, anyways, and it puts to use those those little strawberry runners that you have so I'll show you something that I do and maybe you can do it too and we can spread some strawberries around one of the coolest things to see I think a bumblebee pollinating this is my little strawberry patch our yard didn't really have much of a growing area it was all this zero escaped rocks and stuff so I dug it in and made a little garden box. And uh, what strawberries do is, uh, uh, one thing, that they, what they do to reproduce is they make little, these little trailers come off, they're called runners, they grow. They look like leaves except they come out straight uh, along this, whatever, stem. And this will turn into a whole new strawberry plant. And it can be, uh, your strawberry bed can get overcrowded, kind of like mine already is. So the question becomes, what do you do with them? And a lot of the time, maybe if you don't have enough space for them, you just cut them off. Uh, but if you wanted to, each one of these could make a whole new plant. I'll show you what I do. Uh, and I don't know, it's fairly easy. And I've been able to get a whole bunch of strawberry plants from doing it. Here are the supplies I need, or that I use. Reuse your old planters that you get from wherever. Uh, and I like the ones that have the holes, these lots of holes in the bottom, which I'll show you why. These little ground staples. I got them from Canadian Tire, but you can get them from anywhere, Home Depot, whatever. I think they're usually used for holding down landscaping fabric. Anyway. Take the soil. Fill it in loosely, but I'll, I fill it all the way up to the top. Take a runner. Take a staple. Find a hole. And then, I take it and I put it somewhere in with the rest. I like to use the because then it'll actually I use the staple because then it'll actually stay where I want it they don't go trailing all over the place like they are here right now and then I can staple it in to the bed where I want it I like to put it under here and I think it kind of shelters it a little so it makes it so I don't have to water in multiple places I just water my strawberry bed and then these ones, you, you have to actually aim at them a little bit because they're in these little pots, so they might get missed. But staple them in and leave them like that. And it'll take, you know, a week or two and then they'll be established. You can cut them off and then you can do what you want. You can sell them. We did last year, the kids went out front and sold some and we uh, sold enough to buy a pizza dinner. Uh, make sure you follow all the rules and regulations of wherever it is that you live. Uh, but anyway, uh, which of course we did. Or you can give them away and uh, other people could start their own strawberry patch. So I've got a few of those little pots in here and I'll just show you, well, uh, a little bit about watering, something to do with watering. Uh, sometimes plants don't need as much water as you might think and you should actually check to decide how much you water. Use your finger uh, maybe up to your, sec up to your second knuckle and just 
stick it into the ground. And if it's, if you can feel, like now I can feel it's pretty dry, but if you could feel at your fingertip that it's still wet, then you probably don't need to. So don't just like, it's not just based on the top, you gotta actually feel it a little bit. So what I was talking about with watering them, if they weren't in there, I would just water my, I would just water the strawberries over the top. Just, you know, I would do them all, but if I did this with those little pots in there, I might miss them. So actually just pay a little attention to the individual pots and make sure they get wet. I would do that. I would broadcast it over top of all of them, but then just give each of the pots a little bit extra to make sure, make sure they get it because you can get the bed by just broadcasting over top, but you might not get the individual pot as well. So that's it. That's a bit of a tip from me about uh, what I do to take advantage of the way strawberries reproduce and get a whole bunch of runners and spread a whole bunch of strawberry plants around. Uh, a couple tips or maybe points about strawberries depending on what you want to do what some would say you should just cut off all the runners unless you are ready to maybe pull some out and replace because it'll take away from the the mother plant uh, so the, and that's you could choose what I usually would do is I would just let one at least at first my plants now have been around for a couple of years so they're fairly well established so I'm gonna take a few more liberties with them and maybe produce some more uh, but if you were on the first year, I would maybe not let any go, maybe just one. And uh, after that, you know, decide what you want to do. Uh, and what I would say, uh, also the strawberry plants, they typically last for maybe about five years. First year, you're not going to get much strawberries out of them. The second and third are like the big producing years. And then after that, they start to decline. So then you could look at you, what you could do is you could take those little pots and then if you, once your plants have finished with their berries and you want to pull them out, then you could take those little pots and then you could just replace them. So they're very convenient to be in those things. You can take them and put them where you want or uh, again, sell them and give them away. And uh, it's now it's July 2020 and if you haven't been thinking about it, it's been a bit of an interesting year. Uh, so one thing that people, I think a lot of people were thinking about was food security. So one way to help with that is maybe spread some plants around. More people gardening I think is a good thing so if you've got strawberries and uh, you can spread them around then why not do it? And uh, if you know me and if you're near me and you want some then let me know. So thanks for watching.